The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. Gotta have the worst fucking job ever. Hey, Loudmouth. You think you got it bad? Try wiping asses for a living. You wipe shit from asses? Oh, yeah. I take fate of black to a whole new meaning. It gets worse. How so? You ever heard of the black hole? Well, I've seen it. It's not pretty. No different than a mouth that has just had a five-course meal of ass. Well, well, well. Look like the kid got some spunk in him after all. Well, try getting a party stuck up the person's ass. Wet so deep, can't get out. Smells of liquid fire of death. You know what, man? We're never going to see eye to eye on the matter. I'm never going to know what it's like to be in someone's ass. Thank God. And you're never going to know what it's like to be inside someone's mouth. How do you like them apples? <laughs> getting brave, I see. But I hate to bring it to you. But it takes a man to do the kind of job I do. And I do it well. Not like you, little pansy. Oh shit. Hey. Somebody's coming. Kid, Kid, are you okay? Well, can't say I saw that coming. Makes me wonder, how many other toothbrushes suffer the same fate? Well, let this be a lesson. No one's safe. No one. Where the hell am I? Well, hello, shit face. Aw, oh, fuck, it's you. When did you get here? Oh, me? I just arrived about a day ago. I was deployed here with a bunch of my other crew. They didn't survive, as you can see. It was just me and Chuck. Poor Chuck didn't survive. We smoked our last cigarette together. The next thing you know, I looked at him. He looked me dead in the eyes. He was dead. God, they look like shit. <laughs> Want to talk? You're never gonna let that go, are you? <laughs> Hell no. You should have seen the look on your face. That only happened once. And you, you get shit on every day. Uh, touche. Man, you, you know what, man? You're such a dick, dude. <clears throat> Oh my, I just threw up in my mouth. I bet it tastes like shit. Man, whatever. I wonder why we got moved here anyway. I asked myself the same damn question. But instead, for a whole damn day, I've been looking around this place and noticed it's fully infested with these goddamn varmints. Just look, the little bastards down there. Yeah, I, uh, I 
see what you mean. But uh, anyway, I, uh, I never caught your name. Name's O'Malley. O'Malley Coldgate. The name's Larry. Larry Scott Sharman. But you can call me Larry. Shit boy. Motherfucker. Excuse me, old chap, sir. Huh? Hello up here. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sir Nasal Pickler Greenley. Wow, now that's a long name. Yeah, your parents must have been assholes to name me that. Well, you can call me Sir if you like. There is no fucking way I'm calling you Sir. The only Sir I know was part of my platoon. And he died hours ago. Served his country right. Guys, guys, come on. I'll tell you what. Why don't we just call you Nasal? Snot. Nice one, O'Malley. What a way to stick it to him. Well, all right. I can it for that. After all, I am what I am. Did you just really quote Popeye? Oh, I don't believe I know who that chap is. Figures. Well, he's a very respected sailor man. And he is what he is. Hey, my, my deepest apologies. Well, I'm glad that we all met. So, uh, Nasal, uh... How did you get here? Well, if you must know, long ago, I was in the garden of the Herring Gardens pulling the nostril berries from my family, which was uh, suddenly was ravished and taken away. Next thing I know, I am looking into the eyes of a ferocious giant. We stared at each other for quite some time. So I told the old chap, put me back in this instant. So the giant began to look at me, so evil in his eyes. Such full of hatred. And then he just flicked me. Wow! And so I've been stuck here ever since. Wow. That was a really great story. To be honest, I didn't even hear a fucking word you said. Oh no. That's just half the story of mine. But it's nothing compared to the woman who's over there. Hey guys, that's that check on this little Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with that broad? Looked like she had too much morphine. Yeah, poor thing. And what was that brown shit that was on her? I think you and I both know what that shit was. Yeah, but that can't be. How is that even possible? Need I remind you that anything is possible? Eh, yeah, cool it. Hey, Nasal, what happened? Well, if you must know, a young fellow came into the restroom the other time and pulled her right out of his anus. And then threw her right over there. Oh, the poor girl. Crying her ass off all night. All I can recall is hearing her say, Why me? Why me? Why not nobody else? Huh. Deja vu, O'Malley? Yeah, deja vu, Larry. Thank you for reminding me. How can I forget?